Good morning, goat lovers. So last night we kept all of the does out of the milk pen or whatever we call the milk pen. And this morning we are about to open this up and kind of the same thing as last night's video. We're gonna push the whole herd down into here and then milk them. Now, uh, now the, the other change is Emily's going to be milking this morning while I uh, feed the lamb bars. And I'm going to be making some other changes to help get the goats back into these other two pens a little quicker. Let's go. All right, here we go again, guys. We're going to let them into this bottom pen that they've been dying to get into. They know that there's food, but also they've been trapped out of it, which makes them want in it. They want what they don't have. So hopefully they all just run in here. That is what we're aiming for. I don't know guys, look at those pretty udders. Little Abilene's udder. She's got a really nice udder. Let's see if Lodi will give us a shot. She's got a hairy udder. Hi Lily, no! <laughs> Lily's udder's giant. <laughs> Little Maybelline. All right. So we got them all in this bottom pen. We are just going to open up the gate. Let them. Emily's going to be milking with us today, so three at a time. Hopefully they'll all just come out. And it'll work like it did yesterday. They want milk. I know. <laughs> Look, they already get it. They get it. Looks like today the struggle might be uh, only three of them coming out. Because it'll be a race. Are you going to be first? All right. Mayo, Elsa, Abilene, and Darren are... And Lodi, of course. And Lodi, of wow. course. Sneaky one. All right. I got it, bub. Okay. All right. Yeah. One goes for Sam, girl.
So that was a little crazy, but it uh, it's working a little better. What do you think? I think it worked pretty good. There was a couple little uh, snafus. A couple goats tried to just make a run for it, but uh, all things considered, I like it. Okay, so one of the things I did was last night's video, we had to take them down there and put them in right there behind Sky's butt there. And now we've opened up this gate so where we can put them right back into here and then they already have the pasture. One of the things that, I, that we did the first two times to try to get them into this process, the goats get them into the idea, is we were, I fed them down here to get them to come in. Now this morning, um, they had figured it out and they were, they were all rushing that gate. They all know that when they come out that gate, they're going to get on the stand and get their treat, which is what it's all about with these goats. So tomorrow morning, there won't be any food in this bottom run. And when, when we, we push them all down into there, they, they'll be in a hurry to come out the gate to get to the stand. And then we will start teaching them that, that when they come back through this gate, the food is in here. So they'll get their, their morning milking, and then they'll get their morning uh, feeding in here, and then they'll have access via this gate here to the pasture all day. And then at night, they'll come back in, they'll be wanting their treat, and they'll mob up over there by that gate. We'll let them into this, uh, the milk run, whatever we've been calling it. Then they will come out to the stand, get their grain, and then come right back into here and have their evening feeding. And that's the plan for now. Now just keep working on it a little bit here and there until we get somewhere. And we'll talk more about that in videos to come. So we gonna have any babies today? Uh, I gave them a glance uh, before we started milking, but I haven't checked any ligaments, so let's go do that. Come here. This is Becky and Ruby. Let's see, come here, Becky. I don't know. It's okay. Come here. It's alright. It's alright. She's got her ligaments. She's really bagging up. She's gonna have a huge udder when she goes into labor. Ruby, it's okay. Come here. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Chill. 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 She's got her ligaments too. She doesn't really look like she's getting more bagged up, not since yesterday or anything, so. And both of their ligaments are feeling pretty hard. This gammy here, she's not acting as cranky as she has been with me. Ooh. Her ligaments are there though. Let's see, bagging up a little more, but as big as she is, I would expect her udder to be much, much larger once she goes into labor. Your big mama, huh? She might have quads again this year. Come here a little bit. Oh, you're stinking it up back there. What the heck? Let me check you, girl. Come on. Let's see. You got your ligaments still. She's not bagging up still. So she is not in labor. She's cute though. All right, now we got Dawn. Come here, big mama. Thank you, that was, that was suspicious. Totally sus. I feel. Are you in labor? Is it time? She never did that before. It's kind of bagged up. I was expect it to be more bagged up, but. I didn't feel any ligaments. She was letting me grab her, so. I think we got a dawn in labor. Is it the day? Got a bunch of does? All right, well, I think we got Dawn in labor. Cool. All right, now we got to check on the little babies. They actually, we, we left them with some milk in the lamb bars over last night because it was cool and so it was fine. 
and pretty sure they're all just stuffed this morning because they weren't hollering for nothing and but I did want to just come in and make sure fill bellies um, you know they've been even when, when we've been milking we've been watching them just barely nibble on the lamb bars so everybody's been eating really really good so that's awesome but the dink -a dink she couldn't quite get it yesterday so she's probably gonna want a bottle huh let's see are you starving she's always starving She'd eat this whole bottle if you'd let her. You can't let her. That would make her sick. But. <laughs> oh, she doing? Yeah. Hi. <coughs> you guys all got full bellies, don't you? Let me fill your belly. Yes. Little oh, cutie. Everybody yesterday really, really took to the lamb bar good. It usually doesn't work out that well to where like almost every single one of them we didn't even really have to show. They just took right to it. So that was, that was nice. Wasn't it? What are you doing? Emily, you want to put this little girl? Is this the girl? Yeah. I'm going to put her on that. She's really trying to get it. See if she'll take that lamb bar. One more. I've already filled those lamb bars from uh, the morning, the milking we just did. I, I refilled the lamb bars. You didn't take to it very well yesterday either, did you? Cutie. She's getting it. Is she getting some? Yeah. Good deal. So yeah, we're just gonna try to just keep reminding them this is where the milk is, this is where you eat on the lamb bar. So but again, they all look really full and happy. And you can tell they're full and happy because they're not screaming at you. That's a very good sign. I think that puppy there wants something. Yeah, she does look like a puppy. <laughs> what are you doing, sweetie? You want to put her on the limb bar, honey? Sure. She's so cute. This is Cassie's little frosted dog. Won't let him get it. Let her get it. No. Oh, look at her little tail wagon. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. Big drink. Yeah, she got it almost instantly. But yeah, she's got more. Almost. Nice. This boy's got a big old full tummy. Are you milk drunk? I think he is. Yeah? <laughs> he is completely <laughs> full. He's got a big old belly. He needs a nuppy. Yeah. He's like, cutie. I'm good for six years. I think we all need a nap. I think. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't know if we'd wake up if we lay down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to play with these babies for a little bit, but we're going to wrap it up and we will see you soon.